Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, if you checked out my last or my latest vlog about the whole Windows 7 ending support kind of thing, I mentioned a couple of times on the video, do boop, do boop, do boop. You're probably saying to yourself, what the hell do you mean? So uh, I am going to create uh, two videos. This is one of them. The second one, I'm going to show you guys how to do dual boot with Windows 7 to Windows 10. And then I'm also going to show you how to do the the flash drive utility so you can boot into your machine. Uh, the reason why I'm going to create that third video is because the way that I'm doing everything right now is within a virtual environment because I don't have a lot of physical machines that I could just grab and show you guys how to do it in the real world, right? So virtual machines is the way that I am able to kind of illustrate it to you guys. So let's get started. So I have a Windows 7 machine. I'm going to click on the start menu. Uh, I'm going to type in run. Uh, within the run, I'm going to type in WinVER. And this is a Windows 7 Enterprise. It doesn't matter what version of Windows 7 you have. You are still able to do a dual boot. I just want to show you guys that I'm running Windows 7. Okay. okay, so the next thing we need to do, again, open up your Run dialog box. So go inside Start, type in Run, and we need to enter the following. It's going to be Disk Management. Now, you're not typing the entire thing, Disk Management. You're going to do Disk MGMT dot MSC. Okay, hit Enter, and it's going to open up the Disk Management. Now, for this to work properly, uh, you got two ways. You can have a second partition. You have your C drive. You have a D drive. That D drive is like a separate hard drive. If you have only one hard drive and that hard drive is huge, let's say like 500 or a terabyte, you can actually split that volume into half and install the other operating system into that volume that you just created. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a C drive. C drive is about 500 gigs. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to do shrink volume. It's going to start processing itself and it's going to give you this. Now, Windows automatically is going to give you half and half. OK, if you if you want to calculate the space between your C drive and your new volume, go for it. For this video, I just left the default. I let Windows calculate how much I want for my C drive and how much I want for the extra volume. I clicked on shrink and it shrunk it. So now my C drive is 250 and the allocated part that I just created, that empty space is now 249.40, around 250, right? Somewhat, right? Now, because I'm doing everything within a virtual machine, I'm going to click on VM, going to edit the settings, and within settings, I'm going to go inside CD DVD. I'm going to click on data store ISO file. And I'm going to browse to my Ubuntu. So that's what I'm going to deploy, Ubuntu. And then make sure that it's connected and connect at power on. Click OK. Go back inside my virtual machine and you're going to see that it's going to try to autoplay. Now on the third video, I'm going to show you guys how to take that ISO, right? That Linux operating system, that ISO, and burn it into a flash drive and get one of my laptops that I have around the lab and show you that you're able to plug it in and then we're able to go inside BIOS, configure BIOS to talk to the USB, boot inside the USB and then install it. That's going to be a later video. From here, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to click on open folder to view files. We don't want to do anything. So we are going to click on start. We're going to click on the little drop down and we are going to restart the machine. It's going to start restarting. And what you want to do is go inside BIOS. Now, for VMware, we need to click on, I believe, Escape real quick to get into the boot menu. And I want to pick the CD-ROM drive to boot into that because, again, I have the ISO mounted uh, and I want to boot into that ISO, that Ubuntu environment. So that's what's going to happen. It's going to boot into it. Pick English. Uh, I, I don't want to try it. I want to install it automatically. So I'm going to pick the second option, hit Enter. I'm going to hit Continue for English. For the keyboard layout, pick what you want, hit continue. I'm going to do a normal installation, click continue. Now, one of the cool things about these Linux operating systems is if you want to install Linux on a machine that already has Windows 7 or Windows 10 as an operating system, and you want to install a Linux platform on top of it, it actually does it for you automatically. You don't have to like do any special stuff. Like for Ubuntu, one of the options is install Ubuntu alongside with Windows 7. That is what we want. Yes. How easy is that? See, Linux is so easy. We're going to click install now. Once you hit install now, you're going to get this dialog box. Write the changes to the disk. Yes, please. Hit continue. Pick where you're from. I'm in New York. 
Uh, enter your username, your pick a password, choose a password, confirm the password, do whatever, whatever. Once you get green check marks, hit continue. It's going to start installing. Once you get to this part, restart. It's going to want you to remove that ISO and restart the machine. It's going to get to here. One of the cool things about Ubuntu is it gets to this part right here. It doesn't automatically push you to the Linux operating system. It says, hey, you got, mo you got multiple options to get into your machine. You could get into Ubuntu or you could go inside Windows 7. So I clicked on Ubuntu. I'm able to log in. I'm going to click on my username. Boom. I'm in. Cool. And that's it, guys. That is how you do boot. I think at the end of the video, I'm going to do it like a fast kind of speed video of like going back and forth between Windows 7 and Ubuntu. Super simple. You're able to just restart your machine and it gives you an option. Windows 7 or Ubuntu. Windows 7 Ubuntu. And you're able to go back and forth. How cool is that? Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Uh, don't leave yet. Make sure you catch that speed video because it's going to happen right now. Uh, again, hit that like button, subscribe, make sure to share the video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.